if I did have to kill an animal, it would be like the old days where there was honor, there was yeah. reverence, you wouldn't waste anything, you'd say a blessing, you'd thank, you'd be thankful. Like it's not just going and picking up a pound of meat at the grocery store and throwing it. There's like a there's a, a real connection to the animal and the gratitude for this food to live. So there would probably be um, a far different experience around hunting if I had to do it, because I probably could do it if I had to, but I bet I would feel a lot different around the whole experience of it. And there would be almost like a ceremony. I wish that more people hunted for this reason. It <laughs> changes the way we relate to our meat. The, the, the animals that I've hunted, like when I'm eating that animal, you know, like you've seen, I've seen the animal, I've walked up to it after mm. I've killed it and been like, and thought that's a beautiful animal. Mm. And the first thing I feel is responsibility, right? Like with it's not great- wasted. Yeah, the, I'm not gonna waste it. Yeah. And the, this animal will nourish me to be a good human, which means mm -hmm. I have to be a fucking good human. Yeah. Like I can't be, I better not be an asshole with this nourishment. It's like, yeah. it's like the anti-asshole medicine when you hunt the animal and you think about it in that way, yeah. because you're, you're desecrating yeah. this, this sacrifice. Yeah. And there's a lot of people in the plant-based community that don't see a lot of ethic. They, they think it's unethical to kill an animal. And I think that it's this beautiful reminder of the circle of life. I'm gonna die one day, you're gonna die one day. We will all be food for something, whether it's yeah. a fungus or a worm or a shark, hopefully not, or a crocodile or something at some that's point. A, that's a trauma. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you need to be food for the fungi. <laughs> yeah, maybe food for the fungi and the, and the worms or whatever, or dump my body in the ocean. But it's, it's part of life and death. And there's this great quote from a book called The Tracker, hmm. which is from Tom Brown. He grew up in the Pine Barrens and he was apprenticed to this Apache Indian. And he said, in order for something to live, something else must die. This is the way of life. And so- Energy is just- Yeah, but I think that what you and I know is that for us, if we don't eat animals, we are not our best version of ourselves and how can we do the most work in the world and how do you do the most good? And so I think the ethics, right? I think the ethics of eating animals can be wrapped into that. Like I'm eating an animal, I'm responsible to be a good human, mm -hmm. but this allows me to do the best work I can do in the world. Yeah. So that's where the ethical, that's where I see it. And maybe a vegan could enlighten me with other ethical perspectives, but- yeah. We'll yeah, see. I think I think you're right. I really do. I, there's a, we can have a reframe because yeah. if I one of my most the biggest question I have in life is is really like how to understand it. Like what is really happening? Is this a simulation? Is the <laughs> like what's happening here? I don't really. Are we really holographic in nature? Like are I we really, really having not, this conversation. <laughs> are we really having this conversation? Is this in my mind? Oh, exactly. Like are you mind? just in my mind? And I'm just like bouncing off of this manifestation of an of ah. an, an, an energy that I'm curious. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've read books. I've tried, um, but. You know, one thing that I can, I feel like at this point in time, not say for sure, because I think it always evolves, but at this point in time, what I feel is that our re reality is really at, at this level that I can understand, reality is a perception. It's kind of what it boils down to. It's perception. Two people can look at the exact same event and maybe no two people have the same experience. So yeah. it's really just a perception game. That's I mean, all we're dealing with. And so changing the mind, the framing and the perception around meat, around vegetables, around um, ethics, around how to take care of your body and what's important and how fast you need to be going in life, slower than 240. Um, <laughs> you know, that, that, that kind of stuff could use a reframe so that you can start to shift your perception in a way that works for you.